Hello students. Let's talk more about family today. These are the family words that we learned last time. Mother, mother, father, father, parent, parent, sister, sister, brother, brother, child, child, children, children, mother, father, parent, sister, brother, child, children. Here's another group. Grandmother, grandmother, grandfather, grandfather, grandson, grandson, granddaughter, granddaughter, and grand children. So we have grandmother, grandfather, grandson, granddaughter, grandchildren. Next we have husband, husband, wife, wife, daughter, daughter, and son, son. Finally, we have aunt, aunt, uncle, uncle, cousin, cousin, niece, niece, and nephew, nephew, aunt, uncle, cousin, niece, and nephew. Now, we're going to talk about two kinds of families. And this includes all of these. So, the first one is the nuclear family. The nuclear family. The nuclear family is usually small. It has the mother, father, and children. This is the nuclear family. Mother, father, and children. Some families are big. This is the extended family. In this family we see grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles, maybe cousins, and grandchildren. Okay, so the extended family is big. Grandmothers, grandfathers, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandchildren, mother, father, children. Now, in North America, many people live with only the mother and the children. So mother, oops, children, or the father, plus the children. And usually, the parents are divorced. This is a single parent family. A single parent family is one parent, the mother plus the children, or the father plus the children. Now, let's talk about some families. Let's talk about that family first. Here is Anne. She is divorced. She has two children. Her daughter is two and her son is five. She has an ex-husband. His name is Daniel. She is his ex-wife. 
All right, now you make questions and answers. So, Lisa, you start. You ask Ali. Okay. Ali, who is that? That is Anne. Is Anne married? No, she isn't. Who are they? Those are her children. How old are they? They are two and five. Is she married? No, she isn't. She has an ex-husband. What is his name? His name is Daniel. Okay. Very good. Okay, now here is another picture. And here is the information about it. This is John. He is married. That is his wife. Her name is Kathy. They have one child. Their son is six years old. Okay, now, again, you make questions and answers. Ali, you ask Isabel. Isabel, is, is John married? Yes, he is. Who is Kathy? She is his wife. How old is their child? Their son is six years old. Very good. Now let's look at a big family. We're going to look at another photo now. And tell me who you see in this photo. Ali, you start. I see the mother and the father. Lisa, how many children are there? Okay, there are four children. Mm -hmm. Isabel, who else is in the photo? Their grandmother. Ali, is this an extended family? Yes, it is. Very good. Now, we're going to talk again about possession. Now, possession. Now, before, we saw these words. We'll see them again. My, my, your, your, his, his, her, her, its, its, our, our, your, your, and there, there. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, there. Now, also, you know that a noun is like a name. Okay? A noun is a name. Now we're going to learn a different way to show possession. For example, this is my book. So here's a book. This is my book. You can say that is Molly's book. Molly's Molly's book. Molly is a noun. Book is a noun. So that is Molly's book. So you can say Molly's book. Notice that the S, the S here is for possession not is, possession, Molly's book, all right? Now, the noun, the, this noun can be singular or plural. We have Molly's student, Molly's student, one, or Molly's students many. Okay? This is the same. One, Molly's student. Many, Molly's students. This is the same. Okay, now, here is a new question. Here's the new question. Whose mm -mm, is this? This shows possession. Whose mm -mm is this? Or whose mm -mm is that? Whose is this? Whose is that? Now, here's the answer. That 
for example, that is mm -mm. For example, that is Molly's Molly's book. Whose book is that? That is Molly's book. Okay? Here's another one. Whose are those? Whose books, for example, are those? Those are Molly's, Molly's books. Whose books are those? Those are Molly's books. All right, and here's a couple of other examples. Whose child is that? Whose child is that? That is John's child. Whose child is that? That is John's child. All right? Okay, now let's look at the photos again and we'll practice a little bit. Now let's look at the first photo. I'm going to ask you some questions. Ali, who is this? That is Anne. Lisa, whose children are these? They are Anne's children. Ali, who is Daniel's ex-wife? Anne is Daniel's ex-wife. And Isabel, who is Anne's ex-husband? Daniel. All right, now let me ask you some questions. Lisa, whose pen is that? Oh, this pen? It's mm -hmm. Ali's pen. Ah. Ali, whose notes are those? Those are Isabel's notes. And Isabel, whose book is that? This is Lisa's book. All right, okay. Thank you. Very good. Now, let's look and listen. Look and listen. Whose mother is that? That is Anne's mother. Whose sister is this? This is Ali's sister. Whose assistants are those? Those are Molly's assistants. Read and repeat. Family, simple present tense. Now let's review the present simple tense. Look at this chart now and we'll do it again. Now first we're going to talk about positive, positive, negative, short negative, And question. Okay, remember positive, negative, short negative, and question. Now, let's do these one by one. First, I speak English. I speak English. Negative, I do not speak English. I do not speak English. Short, I don't speak English. I don't speak English. And the question, do I speak English? Do I speak English? Okay, so I speak English. I do not speak English. I don't speak English. Do I speak English? Okay, 
Now, the next one is with you. So we'll do it the really quick way. You. You speak English. You speak English. You do not speak English. You do not speak English. Short. You don't speak English. You don't speak English. And then finally the question, do you speak English? Do you speak English? You speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? Now, this one and the next couple are different. He speaks, speaks. English. He does not speak English. He speaks English. He does not speak English. Short. He does doesn't doesn't speak English. He doesn't speak English. And then again, the question, does he speak English? Does he speak English? So the S is here, here, not here, here, not here, and here, not here. Okay, so again, he speaks English. He does not speak English. He doesn't speak English. Does he speak English? Now, of course, it's the same with she, but we have to change it a little bit. So, she, she speaks English. She speaks English. She does not speak English. She does not speak English. And she doesn't speak English. She doesn't speak English. And then the question, does she speak English? Does she speak English? She speaks English. She does not speak English. She doesn't speak English. Does she speak English? And then, of course, we have it. So we can just put it, and it's the same. It the robot. It speaks English. It does not speak English. It does not speak English. It doesn't speak English. It doesn't speak English. And the question, does it speak English? Does it speak English? So, it speaks English. It does not speak English. It doesn't speak English. Does it speak English? Okay, now let's keep going. And of course, oops, we don't want to take that out, but okay. Now we continue with we. We speak English. We speak English. We do not speak English. We do not speak English. And short, we don't speak English. We don't speak English. And finally, we have the question, do we speak English? Do we speak English? Again, we speak English. We do not speak English. We don't speak English. Do we speak English? Then we put in you. You speak English. You speak English. You do not speak English. You do not speak English. Short. You don't speak English. You don't speak English. And the question, do you speak English? Do you speak English? Again, you speak English. You do not speak English. You don't speak English. Do you speak English? 
And then, finally, we have they. They speak English. They speak English. They do not speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. They don't speak English. Finally, do they speak English? Do they speak English? And again, they speak English. They do not speak English. They don't speak English. Do they speak English? Now, let's look at all of these together. Here we have the question and the short answer. Do I speak English? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Now, notice, does, there's the S, does he speak English? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. There's the S. With she, does she speak English? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it speak English? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Do we speak English? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do you speak English? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they speak English? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Now, we're going to look at some more words that are irregular verbs. They're special verbs. And here, we'll see some of them. Okay, now, the first one is go. Go. I go. I go. You go. You go. He goes. Goes. She goes. She goes. It goes. It goes. We go. We go. You go. You go. And they go. They go. So, I go. You go. He goes. She goes. It goes, we go, you go, they go, go. Okay, the next one is do. It's a little bit the same. I do, I do. You do, you do. He does. He does. She does. Does. She does. It does. It does. We do. We do. You do. You do. And they do. They do. Okay, I do, you do, he does, she does, it does, we do, you do, and they do. All right, now the last one, this is the last special verb is have, have. I have, I have. You have. You have. He has. He has. She has. She has. It has. It has. And back. We have. We have. 
you have, you have, and they have, they have. So again, I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, you have, and they have. Now, again, we see the S. And we saw this one before in the questions. Now, when we use go, we usually have go to a place. So I go to a place. Okay, go to, usually. For example, he goes to the cinema. He goes to the cinema. We go to the park. We, we go to the park. Okay? Now, let's practice. Let me erase the board first. I'm going to write some sentences on the board with blanks in them, and you're going to fill in the blanks. So here come the sentences, and assistance later, you will help me. Here's the first one. We to the cinema. We to the cinema. He speak English. He speak English. She for brothers. She, four brothers. And my sisters to the cinema. My sisters to the cinema. Okay, now let's do these one by one. Lisa. Okay. We go to the cinema. Yes. We go to the cinema. Good. Now, Isabel. Does he speak English? Yes. Good. Does he speak English? Yes, he does. Good. Now, Ali. She has four brothers. Yes. She has four brothers. And Isabel? My sisters go to the cinema. Yes. My sisters go to the cinema. Again, we go to the cinema. Does he speak English? She has four brothers. My sisters go to the cinema. Okay, now let's look at some new sentences and we'll do the same thing again. So, here we go. I, two children. I, two children. My children, one mother. My children, one mother. You, one teacher. You, one teacher. And how many teachers you have. How many teachers you have. Okay, now again, one by one. Lisa. I have two children. Yes, I have two children. Uh, really? <laughs> okay, Ali. My children have one mother. Oh, very good, Ali. My children have one mother. Isabel. You have one teacher. Yes, you have one teacher. And Lisa. How many teachers do you have? Yes, good. How many teachers do you have? So again, I have two children. My children have one mother. You have one teacher. 
How many teachers do you have? Okay? Now, good job. Now let me ask you some questions. Lisa, how many grandmothers do you have? I have two grandmothers. Ali, do you have two children? No, I don't. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, Isabel, does Ali go to the cinema? Mm, yes, he does. Do you go to the cinema? Yes, I do. Lisa, do you have a sister? Yes, I do. Okay, now, you ask me questions. Lisa, you start. Do you go to the cinema? Yes, I do. Ali? Does your daughter go to the cinema? Yes, she does. Does she have a boyfriend? Yes, she does, Ali. Okay, Isabel. Does your son have a girlfriend? No, he doesn't. All right, very good. Now, let's look and listen. Look and listen. Daniel's wife goes to the cinema. Does Ali's uncle have a sister? His sister goes to Istanbul. We go to Hamburg. Lisa's grandmother has a granddaughter. Read and repeat. there. All right, now we're going to learn two words for place. Now, we've seen the question, where? Where? For example, where is it? Where is it? There are two short answers. Here, here, and there. So, where is it? Here. Where is it? There. Okay? Now, first, let's talk about some vocabulary. Now, this is a pen. This is a notebook. This is a board marker. This is a board. These are notes. This is an eraser. And this is a dictionary. Are you ready? Let's go. Isabel, where is your pen? It's here. All right. Ali, where are my notes? They are there. Ah, yes. Okay. Lisa, where is your dictionary? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's here. Okay, good. Lisa, where is the board? It's there. Yes, it is. Ali, where is your notebook? It's here. Mm-hmm, good. Isabel, where am I? You are there. Yes. Lisa, where are you? I'm here. All right. Okay. Very good. Or. All right. Now we're going to talk about a new word called or. Or. It gives a choice. It can be used with almost any kind of word, but we're going to use it with nouns. So we could say this or that. This or that. Now here are some sentences. Is she your sister or your cousin? Is she your sister or your cousin? Answer, she is 
my sister. Is she your sister or your cousin? Ah, oh, she is my sister. Look at the next one, information. I don't have a brother or a sister. I don't have a brother or a sister. Here's another one. Is her uncle from Istanbul? Oops, Istanbul. Or Izmir? Is her uncle from Istanbul or Izmir? Oh, he is from Izmir. Is her uncle from Istanbul or Izmir? Oh, he is from Izmir. Okay, so this gives a choice. Now, let's practice. Lisa, are you from Germany or France? I'm from Germany. Ah. Are you German or French? I'm German. Ali, are you a teacher or a student? I'm a student. Okay, yes, that's right. Now, Isabel, do we speak English or Japanese? We speak Japanese. No, no, we speak English. Good. Okay. Now, let's look at this photo. This is a big family. Who are these people? Lisa. That is the mother. Okay. Who is that, Ali? That's the grandmother or the aunt. Mm hmm Isabel, who is that? That is the father. Okay. Ali, who are they? Mm, they are the children or the cousins. All right. Now, let's review. Review. I'm going to ask you some questions. Isabel, Isabel, where is your grandmother from? She is from France. Does she speak French? Yes, she does. Lisa, where is your grandfather from? He is from Germany. Is he German? Yes, he is. Does he speak German? Yes, he does. Ali, are your cousins Turkish? Yes, they are. Do they speak Turkish? Yes, they do. Now, I want you to tell me about your relatives. These are the people in your extended family, your cousins, aunts, uncles, etc. So, Lisa, you start. Okay. My grandparents are German. They speak German. I have ten cousins. Five cousins are from the U.S. They speak English. I have three aunts and two uncles. They are very nice. Okay, good, thank you. Now, Isabel. My family is from France. My parents and my grandparents are from France. They speak French. I have two aunts and one uncle. They are very nice. I have five cousins. They speak French. I like them a lot. Thank you very much, Isabel. Now, Ali. I have a lot of relatives. I have 13 cousins. They are from Turkey. They speak Turkish. Two aunts live in Germany. They speak German. They don't have any children. My grandparents are from Sivas in Turkey. They are old. Thank you very much, all of you. All right, now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Let's do the dictation. Spell these words. Number one, relative. Number two, grandmother. Number three, cousin. Number four, aunt. Number five, 
uncle. Now, check your work. Number one, relative. R, E, L, A, T, I, V, E. Number two, grandmother. G, R, A, N, D, M, O, T, H, E, R. Number three, cousin. C, O, U, S, I, N. Number four, aunt. A, U, N, T. Number five, uncle. U, N, C, L, E. Now, listen and write these sentences. Number one. Molly's children live in the U.S. Number two. Ali's grandparents are from Turkey. Number three. Marie's cousins speak French. Number four. Lisa's cousins are from Germany and the U.S. And number five, a nuclear family is small. Now, check your work. Number one, Molly's children live in the U.S. Number two, Ali's grandparents are from Turkey. Number three, Marie's cousins speak French. Number four, Lisa's cousins are from Germany and the U.S. And number five, a nuclear family is small. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Stefania's family is from Italy. She is not married and she doesn't have children. Her mother and her father speak Italian. Stefania speaks Italian, German, English and Turkish. She lives in Turkey now. Her brother has a daughter and a son. They are Stefania's niece and nephew. Her niece is 11 years old and her nephew is 4 years old. They live in Italy. They don't live with their grandparents. They speak Italian. Stefania sees them in Italy. Now, listen to the questions and write your answers. Number one, where is Stefania from? Number two, is she married? Number three, do her parents speak Italian? Number four, does she speak French? Number five, where does she live? Number six. Who has a daughter and a son? Number seven. How old is Stefania's niece? Number eight. How old is her nephew? Number nine. Do they live in Italy? Number 10, do they live with their grandparents? Now, check your work. Number one, 
Where is Stefania from? She is from Italy. Number two. Is she married? No, she isn't. Number three. Do her parents speak Italian? Yes, they do. Number four. Does she speak French? No, she doesn't. Number five. Where does she live? She lives in Turkey. Number six. Who has a daughter and son? Her brother has a daughter and son. Number seven. How old is Stefania's niece? She is 11. Number eight. How old is her nephew? He is four years old. Number nine. Do they live in Italy? Yes, they do. And number 10. Do they live with their grandparents? No, they don't. Very good. See you next time. Bye. Practicing English. Oh, look. Your little cousin is very cute. And I love my name in Greek. Angeliki. Angie, as the years went by, my family grew. Here's a photo of all of us. My seven brothers and sisters, and my grandparents, plus my mother and father. All lived in the same house. There were 12 of us in my family. Angie, there's a name for this kind of family. Do you know what it is? Yes. It is called an extended family. Whenever there are grandparents, parents, and children living together. Yes. Are extended families common here in Turkey? Well, they are very common. But in the big cities, most people live in nuclear families, or sometimes single-parent families. Angie, I'm confused. Did you say nuclear families? It sounds like the families will blow up. I know it does sound funny, but it just means that there is a family of a mother, a father, and children living together in the same house or apartment. Jack told me the other day that his little brother visits his father on the weekends and lives with his mother during the week. Does this make Jack's brother and his mother a single parent family? Yes, it does. There is only one parent and at least one child in single parent families. Is this common in America, these single parent families? Yes, it is. Many of my friends are living with just one parent and visit the other parent on weekends and holidays. Ah, oh, I see. Mom, is that one of my graduation photos? Yes, and this one is your goes. Oh, and whose is this? That photo is me on my graduation. You have a great smile in this picture, Mom. Your mother has a great smile right now, too. Thank you both. That's very nice of you. We've been looking at pictures for a while. Would you like to take a break now? I have some cold juice and some cookies. Would you like some? Angie, do we have time before studying? Yes, I think we do. Does it matter to you what time we go to the library? Mm. Not at all. I'm enjoying listening and talking to my mother about our family. <laughs> Me too. Great. I'm glad you're enjoying this afternoon. Okay. I'll get up and get some snacks and drinks for us now. So how's your work? Mm, it was okay. A little long, though. Uh, my boss, computers, explosions, glass. This is my cousin from Athens, and... Angie, do you go to the library often? Yes, I go quite often, about three or four times a week. My friend Aisha goes even more. She is always at the library doing something. Why does she go so often? 
I guess she's like me. Our apartments are big, but we each have two roommates. And it's just quieter and easier to go to the library than to try to keep things quiet. I know what you mean. I don't go very often. I don't have time. Instead, I search on the internet. Miss Christakos, I have a question for you. Okay, Angie. What is your question? What does it take to be a good mother? Do you have any secrets to share with me? That's an interesting question. I think to be a good mother, you must do many things well. It's important to be a good teacher, to be a good listener, and to have rules. And of course, lots of love. What do you think it takes to be a good parent? I think a lot goes into being a good parent. Your ideas are good. I also think it takes a lot of hard work every day. You're right about that, too. Now, let's finish up here today. I have to put these photos away now, and you two have to get to the library to study. Now, see, everybody has something to do in order to be a good father, mother, son, and daughter. My son is lucky, Angie, to have such a good friend in you. Do you have any more questions for me? No, Miss Christakos. It has been fun talking to you about families and seeing your photos from Greece. Alexia and I should go now. Yeah, Angie's right. We should go. Mom, do you need anything from the market for dinner on my way home? No, oh, thanks, Alexi. We'll eat dinner around 7.30. So see you then, okay? Sure. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, Angie. Bye, Mrs. Christakos.